everyone welcome back to my channel I'm really excited about this video because it is all about my girl Taylor Swift I'm doing two different looks this one's just kind of the natural rosy cheek red lip just a very classic Taylor Swift look and then I'm gonna be doing a look inspired by bad blood my cousins in Albuquerque New Mexico love them too we me and my sister actually went last year and surprised my little cousin for her sixth birthday and it was a Taylor Swift themed birthday party it was so much fun it was awesome and now she's moved into a new house and her whole room is Taylor Swift. So that inspired me to do these two looks because I love her. I think it's awesome and it's really fun. This one's really simple. I didn't do a full makeup routine. Um, I pretty much did my normal face routine which I can post a video of just kind of my everyday face routine. Did a little bit of bronzer just to warm up the cheeks, a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlight and then it's mostly just the lips. You know the eyes are very subtle. If you want to see how to get this Taylor Swift inspired look then just keep watching. So to start off this look, I'm using my eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay in the shade Sin. And I'm just taking this all over my eyelid, going all the way up to my eyebrow, getting my inner corners as well as my lower lash line, just to make sure all of the eyeshadow lasts all day. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Combust in my Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay and using the brush that came with this palette, I'm going to be putting Combust all over my lid, going up to my eyebrow, using that as a transition shade. Using that same brush, the fluffy crease side, I'm going to be going into my Naked One palette, taking the shade Naked, and putting that just in my crease, really buffing it out and building that color. Still in my Naked One palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Buck and doing the same thing, just going over that Naked shade and just really deepening that brown. Now I'm going to be using the brush I got with my Naked One palette. I'm going back into my Naked Smoky palette and taking the shade 13 and using this shade to highlight under my brow bone as well as taking the shade down onto my entire lid. With a fluffy crease brush, I'm just going back into that crease and buffing it out so we have no harsh lines. Next, I'm taking that same shader brush, going into my smoky palette, the shade high, and highlighting my inner corners. Taking an angled brush, I'm going into my Naked One palette, the shade Creep, and using that as my eyeliner, I'm just going three quarters of the way into my eye and just lightly tapping it on my waterline. Moving on to top eyeliner, I'm using my Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen from Starlux Pro. I really like this pen a lot. I think I got it in a BoxyCharm. It's just really easy to use. It's got a felt tip and it is super black and again easy for just wanting to throw on a small wing if you're going to work or school or anything. Now I'm just curling my lashes and I'm going to use my Benefits Roller Lash Mascara to do my top and bottom lashes. Now for the signature Taylor Swift Red Lip, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Rich Red.
this is the second look that I'm going to be doing, the Bad Blood inspired look. So this is a very dramatic, very dark, very edgy, much like all of the Wonderful Women in the Bad Blood music video. And I love it. I love doing the crazy inner eyeliner. I love it that it's like a bright lip. It's not too much on the face. It's more just like fierce eyes, which I love. So if you want to see how to get this Taylor Swift inspired look, just keep watching. look I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer and again just doing that all over the lid all the way up to the eyebrow and underneath the lash line. Now I'm going to be using this single eyeshadow from Ofra. I'm not sure what the name is. I got it in a boxy charm and it doesn't say the name. But it's just kind of a yellowy color just as a transition shade. Now I'm going to go back into my Naked Smoky palette, going back with Combust and putting that right in the crease. Next shade in my Naked Smoky palette is Dagger. It's this navy blue color and I'm going to be using this in my crease as well as my outer corner. I switched to a shader brush here because I wasn't getting the darkness and the intensity with the crease brush. So I just patted on a little bit more product and then really smoked it all out so you can get that fierce look. Next I'm going into my Urban Decay Vice LTD Reloaded palette in the shade UVB which is just a blue color and again I'm buffing that into the crease with a crease brush and really smoking it out. Now I'm going into Oil Slick in that same palette and I'm just putting this all over the lid. This will get the darkness and intensity with a little bit of sparkle that I'm looking for. Again, I'm going back into my smoky palette using the same color dagger and really just blending that all out. Next on a fluffy brush, I'm taking Black Market and I'm really concentrating that on the outer corner and then dragging it into my crease. I went back into my Naked One palette and used the shade Creep to really darken that lid. Back into my smoky palette, I'm taking the shade Armor on a flat shader brush and putting that all over the lid on top of the black just so I can get some more sparkle. To intensify this color, I'm taking my e.l.f. setting spray and just spraying some of it onto my brush so it really intensifies that color. Once again, I'm going back into Oil Slick and putting a really light amount on top of that armor just so the sparkle comes through, but it's still a dark black color. Finally, I am just taking a fluffy brush with no additional product and really just buffing and smoking all of that out. And then I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because it literally took me two years. So now we're going back to the eyes. I am taking my NYX Trejoli eyeliner that I just got actually, which I love. It's in the shade Pitch Black, and I'm just lining my entire waterline with this. For my lower lash line, I'm taking the shade Dagger from my Naked Smoky palette and running that back and forth along my lower lash line. After that, I'm taking the shade Oil Slick and doing the same thing, just really blending those together and smoking them out as usual. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lash Primer and priming my lashes. I really like this lash primer, it gives you a lot of volume and length. On top of that, I'm going to be using my Blink Mascara that I got in a BoxyCharm, which I also love because it, again, gives you a lot of volume, which is what we're going for in this look.
For the lips, I started with CoverGirl's Caramel Kiss, shade number 240. And on top of that, I'm going to add my e.l.f. lipstick, shade 7707 Nostalgic. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.